I believe at some time or another, every single calc student has made one of these mistakes. As a math tutor for about seven years, I've had the pleasure of seeing these mistakes many, many times. And so in this video, I wanna go over five calculus mistakes that happen all the time so you can avoid them. Number one, and you knew this had to be up here if you've taken calculus before, it's doing the definition of the derivative formula in the wrong way. So you should have seen in calculus that the definition of the derivative is limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. But instead of doing it that way, what students will do is not f of x plus h, but f of x plus h. You know, those are different things and they'll give you totally different answers. In fact, if you do it the wrong way, you're just gonna get one for the derivative of anything, which makes absolutely no sense. And so what you have to remember, in the derivative definition, your f function is composed with x plus h, meaning everywhere you see an x, you need to insert an x plus h inside the parentheses to do the problem correctly. Number two is with integration, and this happens so, so often, and it's such a good way to upset your professor. It's leaving out the differential, the dx or the dt or the d whatever in your integrals. Notation is very important to mathematicians, and it's very important to mathematics. Many people, when they see this dx at the end of the integral, they don't really know why they need it. And to a Calc 1 student, it sure seems like you don't really need it. So why bother with it? It's easy to forget. Just put the dx or the d whatever, whatever it is that the variable of integration is. Also, side little mistake here. I didn't plan to add this. But another popular, popular mistake is not adding plus c at the end of indefinite integrals. You need plus c. Mistake number three, and I'm not sure if this one is always a mistake or it's just the student is trying to get some points, but when you're doing derivatives of products or integration of products, instead of using the rules that you should, just integrating both of them individually or deriving both of them individually and multiplying them together. And so if you wanna upset your calculus teacher, this is a really great mistake to make. Remember when you're differentiating or integrating products, you need to use the appropriate rule for derivatives. That's the product rule for integrals that might be integration by parts. It's a little bit later, or maybe a u substitution or just another technique. Mistake number four is when you're integrating one over x. Everybody knows the antiderivative of one over x dx is ln of x, right? Right? Makes sense? No, it's ln absolute value of x. You need the absolute value. Now this might not seem like a big deal and teachers might not even always take points off for this, but I'll tell you what, it's going to be a big deal if you have to evaluate at negative numbers. You're not gonna be able to do that unless you have that absolute value there. I guess that's not always a Calc 1 mistake. Some teachers teach that in Calc 2. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna count it. Now mistake number five, of course, is not watching more Bry the Math Guy videos. I'm just kidding, that's a cop out. My fifth mistake is dropping the limit notation. When you're doing limits, especially in Calc 1, you have to go through many different steps sometimes, many different algebraic steps, and until you actually evaluate the limit, until you get equals a number or does not exist or whatever, you need to be writing limit as x approaches or limit as t approaches every single time, and it's so easy to just not bother with that anymore, just stop bothering. It's, it's a pain, it's a lot to write. But again, notation is very important to mathematics. It's very important to some teachers. Some teachers aren't gonna take off for this, but I've seen teachers that definitely will take off points for this. So make sure until you actually compute or evaluate that limit, you're writing the limit every single time. If you wanna see more math mistakes, you can check out this video right here. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. Have a great day.